has a current dynamic and uh, you see there is 14 different plants uh, live, live actually in this sector and what you see the sector is kind of unique there is a lot of uh, administration so it's kind of a headache uh, to see to operate that as I said before this is a kind of large uh, area to cover the difficulty of supply there and in a long, it's kind of a long period of time but without uh, we are in Bailey train today to to visit our troops, but also the Somali National Army community activities and the Somali police force activities. We are coming after the concluding exercise on Operation Indian Ocean, and we came to, our, to see our commanders and thank them for the work done, as we are going to do the review and proceed on how we mobilize the communities and see how the new administration are settling in and check on the service delivery points for our people, but most important to ensure that we have some projects and the community settlement and see how our people are coping after we have cleaned out Al-Shabaab from most areas in this sector. Uh, I want to make a small presentation of uh, Somali forces that train them, provide the equipment, and then only we have uh, lost the 12 people beside that all well. The aim of our visit is part of ongoing efforts to improve the working relationship between strategic headquarters at Isababa and the mission headquarters and also to look at uh, improving that relationship between the mission headquarters and the sectors. This is also coming against the background of the new, lead, the new resolution of the United Nations which calls upon the African Union to undertake certain activities. So this is part of a process really of uh, improving that working relationship, looking at the challenges identified identifying those challenges and then seeing how best they could also be addressed. Secondly, of course, it is also part of uh, um, thanking the forces for the work that they've undertaken in operating the Indian Ocean, uh, which was very good. There have been successes and to work on those successes. And thirdly, like any other uh, strategic headquarters, we have to visit our mission to give morale to the, to the forces, the civilian, the military, the police on the ground, and also to appreciate the work that they do, where some of the decisions must be informed by these visits.